Welcome to Make It Easy Education. Phases of the Moon Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Earth has, one and only natural satellite, called Moon, or Luna. Like Earth, that revolves around the Sun, Moon revolves around the Earth. Moon takes 29.5 days, or one month, to make one complete revolution, around the Earth. The moon itself, doesn't emit any light, like the sun. The moon, reflects the sunlight, that falls on it. When we look from the earth, the shape of the moon, changes every night, for one month. The different shapes, of the lit portion of the moon, that can be seen from earth, are known as, phases of the moon. Each phase, repeats itself, every 29.5 days. As the moon, orbits, or circles the earth, the phase changes. The moon, goes through, eight major phases. New moon. Waxing crescent moon. First quarter moon. Waxing gibbous moon. Full moon. Waning gibbous moon. Third quarter moon. Waning crescent moon. Again the cycle repeats, and starts with new moon, new moon. The moon is between the earth, and the sun. The part of the moon, that faces the sun, gets the sunlight. A new moon, cannot, normally be seen, from earth. Since, only the dark side of the moon, faces earth, at this point. Waxing crescent moon. The moment, a thin sliver of the moon, becomes visible, after new moon, is the beginning of the phase, the waxing crescent moon. The moon looks like crescent, and the crescent increases, or waxes in size, from one day to the next. First quarter moon. The first quarter moon, is defined, as the moment, the moon has reached the first quarter of its orbit, around Earth. It is also called, half moon, as we can see, exactly, half of the moon's surface illuminated. Waxing gibbous moon. Gibbous, refers to the shape, which is larger than the semicircle shape but, smaller than a full circle. This phase, occurs, when more than, half of the lit portion of the moon, can be seen, and the shape increases in size, from one day to the next full moon. A full moon, is when we can see, the entire lit portion of the moon. The full moon appears, when the sun, and the moon, are aligned on opposite sides of the earth. Waning gibbous moon. A waning gibbous moon, occurs when, more than half of the lit portion of the moon, can be seen, and the shape decreases, or wanes in size, from one day to the next, third quarter moon. Third quarter moon is when, half of the lit portion of the moon, is visible. In this phase, the opposite half of the moon, is illuminated, compared to the first quarter moon. Waning crescent moon. A waning crescent moon, is when, the moon looks like the crescent, and the crescent decreases or wanes in size, from one day to the next. Thinking time. What is solar eclipse? A solar eclipse, is when the moon, exactly blocks the sun's rays, from hitting the earth. A solar eclipse, can only happen, at new moon. What is lunar eclipse? A lunar eclipse, is when the earth is exactly between the moon, and the sun. So, none of the sun's rays, can hit the moon. A lunar eclipse, can only happen, at full moon. What is supermoon? When the full moon, or new moon, 
occurs during the moon's closest approach to Earth, it is often called a supermoon. What is micromoon? A micromoon happens, when a full moon, or a new moon, coincides with the point in the moon's orbit, farthest away from Earth. Perigee and Apogee The point in the moon's orbit, closest to Earth, is called perigee. The point in the moon's orbit, farthest from Earth, is known as apogee. For more educational videos, visit Make It Easy Education channel, or, click the link in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.